everyone. Uh, welcome back to your practice. Uh, so I did a little crowdsourcing on uh, Instagram and Facebook to find out what kind of videos you would like to see from me. And uh, three that were the most interesting to me or uh, that were the most requested was a chair flow, a slow flow, and a question about balancing uh, business and your spiritual practice. So I'm going to do uh, a few videos, so stay tuned for all of them. They'll be here on my channel and here on uh, my IG channel, so I'll be sharing that. So I'm just going to power down the phone so it doesn't distract me, but I wanted to make sure uh, I answered your questions. So I'll put the phone over here. Uh, chair flows. I love, love chair flows. And it was really funny because I'm currently teaching a 200 hour teacher training and we just uh, finished doing sequencing for chair flows. And what was uh, really funny was you can make a chair flow accessible and then you can make a chair flow more difficult than without the chair. And I thought that was kind of interesting. So I'm going to do two perspectives of a chair flow. If you have people who, uh, perhaps have vertigo or can't stand for long periods of time or may have an injury uh, and need something a little bit more gentle and restorative and not quite as active, I'll show you that. And then I'll show you um, if somebody's building their strength back, like they're, they're, they're coming back from, from an injury and they're ready to do more. Uh, I had a, a woman in my class on, in my intro to yoga class on Sunday who felt like she did a chair flow and she's like, I didn't really get a sweat. And I'm like, well, you had a double knee replacement. So we <laughs> the intention was not to get us wet. The intention was to connect back with our body and get some gentle movement before we start to build. So perhaps in the next couple of weeks, we'll explore how she can go deeper. So first things first, uh, get yourself a really solid chair. I place my chair on the mat because the floor might be slippery. And I like to bring a bolster or blocks underneath my legs. It just feels really nice and grounded. And it, so I get to support my low back into the back of the chair. So for my grounding purposes, that's what I like. And for my movement purposes, I'll possibly slide forward on the chair so that my feet are on the floor. I have short legs, so it's not unusual if I'm sitting in a chair for my legs to dangle. So let's go ahead and close our eyes. Uh, you can sit up on a, a blanket on the chair. You just find a comfortable chair with a solid back and that is grounded on a mat. Placing your hands up, palms down on, the, on your knees, take a few breaths to just connect with your breath. And so I'm gonna engage Ujjayi breath. So closing your eyes and allowing your breath to move in through your nose, out through your nose with the constriction in the back of the throat. Good. Take another deep breath in. And as you move through the practice, be mindful of the breath. If you're struggling, if it's catching in your throat, then you slow down. Good. And now we'll start with a cat cow on the chair. I'm going to slide the bolster over and out and come to the edge of my chair. So I'm no longer resting my back on the back of the chair. I'm sliding right to the edge of the chair. Then I'm going to bring my hands on the chair. Inhale with my heart to the sky holding the seat of the chair, and then exhale. I'm going to slide my hands to my knees and round. Inhale and lift. Exhale and round. And I'm using the back of the chair, the seat of the chair, anywhere I could reach. Now, if you want to add a little bit more movement, you don't even have to have your hands on the chair. You can lift up, curl the shoulders back, exhale and round. Two more. Hands through heart center. Take a moment to come back to your breath. I'm scooting now more to the center of the chair, but I'm not resting on the back. I'm up on my toes, as you can see. And now you inhale. And on the exhale, twist to the right. Back through center. And then on the next exhale, twist to the left. Back through center. Moving slowly 
and mindfully. Good. Now I'm going to add a little bit of a side stretch. Come back through center. Right hand on right thigh. Inhale, reach your left arm up and over. Release hand on thigh. Second side. And then I'm gonna, we're going to do a half sun salute. That's where we're going next. And up, back, and up. Now both hands up. Exhale, hands through heart center. I'm going to slide my chair. I'm going to stand and slide my chair a little bit further back, closer to the wall, just so my feet are on the mat. I'm going to take my legs out a little bit wider in preparation for a uh, sun salute. And legs up nice and wide so that I can make space for my forward fold. Inhale, curl your shoulders back, look up, open your throat. Exhale, round hands on the knees. Inhale. Exhale. Now, inhale, rise up. Arms, exhale, and fold. Fingertips to the floor or to blocks. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. And now take your right forearm to the top of your right thigh, left arm up and over, and come back. Left arm to your thigh, right arm up and over, and come back. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, fold. Fingertips to the blocks, to the floor, to a bolster, to your mat. Lift and fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, right hand to right knee. Reach over. Inhale, up. Left hand to left knee, reach over, inhale up, both arms reach up, hands through heart center. One more time, inhale, reach up, exhale, fold, fingertips can come to blocks, bolsters, or the floor, inhale, half lift, lift your gaze, look forward, exhale, fold, inhale, push into the feet, reach all the way up, right hand to right knee, reach all the way over. Second side, left hand to left knee, reach all the way over, and come back, hands through heart center. Now, coming back where my bottom is back, closer to the back of the chair, I'm going to slide to my left thigh, most of my left thigh is supported from the chair, and I'm going to reach my, I'm going to move my blanket, I'm going to reach my right leg out for warrior two. So you take three breaths in warrior two. My seat is fully supported, lining my torso up over my hips, my shoulders over my hips, looking out over the left center fingernail. Then taking my left forearm to the thigh, right arm up and over the ear, taking a nice deep stretch here. Breathe. Inhale, reach up. Now, I'm going to bring my hands to the seat, slide my bottom back to the center of the seat, turn the toes out to the right and left, and take a goddess pose. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Bottom is resting right in the back of the chair. Inhale, rest, breeze jaw. Exhale, hands through heart center. And again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands through heart center. And now let's turn left toes, or right toes up to the right and left leg back into the shape of uh, a warrior two. Feet are really, our hips and bottoms really supported on the seat. I'm drawing my belly button in. Inhale, floating the arms out into T, taking that gaze over the center, middle fingernail. Breathe. Now taking your left forearm to the thigh, right arm up and over the ear, extend, breathe. Inhale back through center, arms out into T, taking my hand to my seat, shifting my bottom back to center, taking my toes out to the right and left goddess. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands through heart center. One more. Inhale. Exhale, hands through heart center. And I'm going to add everything together in our flow. Now take a deep breath and inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Hands at heart center. Come back through center on the inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. 
Inhale back through center, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. So let's grab my blocks and place my hands, blocks underneath my hands. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Right hand grabs a hold of the left wrist, crescent over, back through center. Second side, back through center. Hands come down to the knees. I'm going to shift my weight on the chair, bending into my left leg, extending my right leg out, sweeping my arms over, warrior two. Right hand to the back of the right thigh, peaceful warrior. And now extended side angle, arm up and over the ear. Now sweep the arm nice and wide, bringing your hands to the blocks. Turn your toes out to the right and left, fold forward, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale and fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Goddess pose. Hands to heart center. And now twist to the right. Back through center. Twist to the left. Back through center. Turn your right toes out to the right side. Extend your left leg out. Hands at heart center. Float the arms out into T. Good. Now, peaceful warrior. Left hand down the back of the left thigh. Right arm up to the sky. And then right forearm to the thigh, left arm up and over. Good. Inhale back through warrior two. Hands come to the seat. Turn your toes out to the right and the left. Scoot your bottom back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and fold. Bring your hands to blocks. Inhale, half lift. Look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms high to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center. Bring in your blocks to the lowest setting. Soles of the feet come together onto the blocks. Sitting back into the chair, bring your palms together, breathe. Baddha Konasana. Good. And now release the feet flat to the blocks, bringing your right leg over your left. Let's come into Eagle Pose. I like to bring my left hand over my right shoulder and my right hand to my left shoulder for Eagle Pose. If eagle arms are available to you, you can bring the uh, elbows together and bring the palms together. But if not, make space for your body and come into your eagle arm variation. Inhale, open, change the legs and you can cross second leg over and do the opposite side for eagle arms. Beautiful, inhale, come out. Plant the feet. Now bring the right knee into the chest. Squeeze the belly and release. You'll notice my legs are out nice and wide to make space for my body. Left knee into the chest and keep going. Alternating right and left. Good. And then crossing right ankle over left knee. Do a little hip over. I'm going to now slide my bottom back toward the chair. What's great about this chair is it's slippery and I can kind of slide around and negotiate. If you have a chair that maybe has a fabric seat, you're going to have to lift and move your body. Come all the way up, second side. So I'm crossing left ankle over right knee and I'm sitting forward till I feel first sensation and just noticing what's going on there. And release. And now both feet flat to the blocks, bringing my palms up and taking a moment to come back to my breath. So getting grounded again. Of course, somebody's backing up outside. So that is a great way to just focus my breath and know that there's never any perfect quiet time to do yoga, that you can just pull up a chair and do it anytime. So I'm gonna leave you here to connect with your breath for as long as you like. Consider this your savasana. And thank you today for joining me for this chair practice. I hope it gave you some ideas for how you can do maybe a practice at work if you're sitting in a chair at work or you can't come to the floor or you just are looking for some way to mix up your practice. So a little bit of movement is always a really great thing. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.